This video podcast is brought to you by McCarter Online. You had a question. Yeah. Um, it, it's related to accent and it's personal. Um, I would like to know you talked about the need to change accent and you were with the Royal Shakespeare Company for years and years and years and I wanted to know what accent you yourself, what accents you have moved through in your own life. I, the way I speak now is the way I've always spoken. Mm -hmm. When I was little and I came to America on holidays because kids you know, fit in, and I was with my American cousins, you know, I, I, I'd start talking American, and I'd go back to school, and everyone would tease me, and you'd drop it immediately. You know, at, there's a certain age where you just have to do it to fit in. Yeah. Um, but I, you know, for instance, now here's an interesting thing, you know, um, Rosemary Harris um, is American. And, um, she, see, they came out of RADA at her, in her day. This is saying very, very, you know, that very English accent, very, very, oh, Harold, how are you? It's all very clear. You can basically speak English without moving your mouth at all. <laughs> Literally, without moving your mouth. She left RADA. And they were all taught to speak like that. She left RADA. She came to America and studied with this voice teacher who had the much purer sound. So she would say things like, Rosemary would say things like, no. My mother says that uses no. That is actually, it's, a, it's American. I mean, talk to pure. Um, and that's the purest sound. So you'd go, if you want to say, speak sh the, 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 the words of Shakespeare, well, no, oh, so no. It was much nearer what is purer, what she was taught. I had to be untaught from Rada when she came here, you know. And you, so, so you can say, I mean, like, if I'm just talking casually, I'd say, you know, uh, you could go, yeah, well, I, I can go there, go, go there. But the word is go. You can't speak, uh, and this is my big thing with Shakespeare, you can't speak Shakespeare without moving your mouth, you know. Uh, uh, diamonds, go, moon, moon. Now, you can speak English without moving your mouth, and for the most part you do, you know. Like, and I mean, uh, you know, if I, and if I was going to do Shakespeare, if I was going to do Shakespeare next week, I'd be going around consciously doing it in life. Uh, and if you do it in life, then uh, it's not going to feel so phony when you do it on stage and you can make the right sounds. Uh, and that's what I think young actors should do if they're doing yeah. Shakespeare. It's no good just getting up on a stage and thinking you can speak these lines Forget about it. <laughs> and the other thing is, guess what? If you're young, you're going to be way more committed to what you're saying if you move your fucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that was my mantra. <laughs> this podcast has been brought to you by McCarter Theatre in Princeton, New Jersey. For tickets, call 609-258-258. ARTS or visit www.macarter.org.